Hunter and His Amazing Remote Control by Lori Ann Copeland. Hi, I'm Hunter. Has anyone ever told you to use your head? I wasn't really sure what that meant, but somehow I felt bad about myself when I heard it. I used to think that something was wrong with the way my brain worked, but then I discovered a tool that has helped me to feel a lot better about myself. This is the story about how I learned to appreciate my special brain, a story about how I figured out what it means to use my head. My brain. Everyone's brain is amazing and works in different ways. I'm often told that I'm creative because I have so many great ideas. I've also been told many times to pay attention but actually, I'm very aware of what's going on around me. I seem to notice everything because I don't want to miss something important. My brain is so full of information that I always have something interesting to think about. My mind is like a TV with lots of channels. I know that having a brain like mine is really special, but it can also be frustrating. Sometimes when I'm at school trying to listen to my teacher, my mind switches to a different channel. Then I make a mistake later because I missed important information while I was on the wrong channel. Now I know that this is what it, my teacher means when she tells me to pay attention. It seems like my special brain works really fast. I have lots of energy and enthusiasm but that makes it harder for me to stop and think before I do things. One day when I was excited, I threw a pillow in the air and broke a lamp. And sometimes when I'm supposed to be still, I feel like I have so much energy inside my body that I might explode if I don't get to move around soon. My family, friends, and teachers are sometimes frustrated with my energy and enthusiasm. The truth is, I used to feel like there was something wrong with me because I didn't realize that these challenges were part of what makes me so creative, energetic, and enthusiastic. Now I feel better about myself because one day I had the best idea I've ever had. The great idea. It was Saturday and I was watching my favorite TV show when my little brother Josh picked up the remote control and started changing channels. As I took the remote control from Josh and used it to return to my program, the idea came like a flash of lightning. I need a remote control for my brain. Channel changer. I took a block of wood and some markers to make a channel changer just like the one for the TV. When I noticed that my thoughts were focused on the wrong thing, I used my remote control to change back to the right channel. In math class, when I started thinking about what I was going to eat for lunch, I pushed the channel changer button and switched my brain back to the math channel. More buttons. The next idea came on a rainy afternoon when I was watching a movie. Again, Josh grabbed the TV remote control, but this time he pushed pause and then the fast forward button. Suddenly, I realized that there was so much more I could do with the remote control that I made for my brain. I began to think of buttons that I could add. Pause. My first addition to the remote control was pause. I learned to push this button before I did or said something that could get me into trouble. I used pause before I threw something in the house, before I spoke out of turn in class, and before I ran into the street after my soccer ball. The pause button gave me a chance to think before I did something. At first, it was really hard to remember, but the more I practiced, the easier it was. Fast forward. I also thought about how using fast forward on the remote control shows me what happens later in a movie. 
I decided to put a button on my brain remote control to help me see what might happen in the future. I used both of the new buttons the next day when my football was on top of the bookcase. I was just about to climb up to get the ball when I remembered to push pause, then fast forward. I realized that the bookshelf could fall over on me, so I decided to ask for help. The shoulds. But even with lots of practice, I don't always remember to push the pause and fast forward buttons before I do or say something, and disaster. Of course, I know that everyone makes mistakes, but sometimes when I mess up, I end up with something I call the shoulds. I think I should have said something else. I should have done something different. I should not have done that. I should be more careful. The shoulds always make me feel discouraged. I had a bad case of the shoulds after a field trip to the zoo. It was a special occasion, so I was allowed to take a can of Fizzola Cola for lunch. While I was waiting in line for lunch, I threw my lunch in the air three times, but only caught it once. When I finally opened the can of Fizzola Cola, it sprayed everywhere. At home later, my mom saw the cola on my shirt and the shoulds all over my face. She said, Hunter, I think people are kind of like drinks. Some people are serious like tea. Other people are sweet like fruit punch and cheerful all the time. Then there are the Fizzola Cola people, excited and fun, but when they get shaken up, they have to work harder to calm down. I decided to add buttons to help me with the shoulds and one for calming down. Rewind. I thought of using a rewind button to go back and remember what I was doing and thinking before I messed up and think about what I could have done differently. Then I can make a plan for how to make a better choice next time. Mom really liked this idea and now sometimes she lets me use rewind to say or do something over before I get into trouble. It's like getting a second chance and it sure helps with the shoulds. Slow motion. I decided to add a slow motion button to remind me to move slower and be more relaxed. I learned that if I took a slow deep breath and counted to 10 when I pushed the button, it worked even better. I practiced using slow motion at my birthday party when I was opening presents. I was really glad I slowed down because it gave me a chance to thank everyone and it made the fun last a lot longer. Coach. The inspiration for my next button on my brain remote control came from my baseball coach. Once I struck out three times, dropped the ball over and over and tripped over second base all in one game. I wanted to give up and quit the team until Coach Cooper told me, all athletes have bad days now and then, especially when they are young and still learning. Keep trying and learn from your mistakes. I added a coach button and learned to push it when I needed encouragement to try harder, when I need to remember that it's okay to make mistakes, and when I need to come up with a plan for doing better. It turns out that coaching is not just helpful for sports, but on the playground, in class, and at home. Zap. Our school counselor told my class about how negative thoughts have the power to make you feel discouraged. I realized that I often have thoughts like, there's something wrong with me, people don't like me, I'm a bad kid, or I'll never get it right. These thoughts are almost always wrong, but if we are not careful, we can start believing them. So I put a button on my brain remote control called Zap so I could get rid of those negative thoughts before I had a chance to believe them. Way to go. The last button was actually my mom's idea. She said, Hunter, you don't have to wait for other people like Coach Cooper or me to tell you when you've done something right. Why don't you add a button that will remind you to notice when you are successful? I named it Way to Go, and I ended up using it a lot more than I thought I would. In control. 
With practice, I have become so good at using my brain remote control that I don't even have to have it with me. It's kind of like I have an invisible one with me all the time. I know that I am the only one who has the power to use my remote control. Now no one else can make me think, feel, or do something. I choose which buttons to use. So that's the story about how my brain remote control changed my life. The more I use it, the better I get along with my friends, parents, and teachers. I don't get into trouble as much, and I'm doing better in school. I still make mistakes, and I'm still frustrated when I forget to use the remote control buttons. But my amazing remote control has helped me to realize that I am an amazing person, and so are you. The end.